all right guys welcome to my youtube channel and uh, this is your ophthalmology educator dr manish chabra and as you all know that i have recently launched my ophthalmology teaching app which is currently available on android but it will be available on ios as well i thank all of you for your constant support um, since the time i have launched my app i have received many many messages i have received a lot of support in the form of downloads uh, of my app and thanks to all of you dil se ekdam and uh, i had recently conducted a poll in my telegram group in the morning so i had asked i had given four options of topics in ophthalmology i thought to do a quick uh, youtube video on any topic so i had given four options out of which the topic of retinopathy of prematurity received the maximum number of votes so in view of that i am going to do this short video but this will be very crisp very concise and very conceptual and my idea will be to cover all the pyqs associated with this topic hai na all right so pehli cheez aapne kya karni hai youtube channel ko subscribe karna hai agar currently aapka android phone hai to download this app i am conducting daily quizzes on the i coach dr manish chabra app जिसमें हम डेली अलग अलग सब्जेक्ट्स की क्विज करते हैं जिसमें से ऑफथेलमोलॉजी हो चुकी है एनएड फिजियो बी कैम पैथो फार्मा माइक्रो पी एस एम ई एन टी ये सारी क्विजेज हो चुकी हैं एंड हम डेली टेन एम सी क्यूज की क्विज करते हैं इन विच देयर इज डिटेल्ड डिस्कशन विच इज गिवेन इन द एंड एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस आई यू एस एप विल बी अवेलेबल प्रॉबेबली बाई टू नाइट और मे बी विद इन टू थ्री डेज इट इज अंडर प्रोसेस एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो एक्टिवेटेड द इंटरनेशनल डाउनलोड ऑप्शन आई रिसीव मेनी मैसेजेस फ्रॉम एफ एम जी स्टूडेंट्स दैट दे वर नॉट एबल टू डाउनलोड द ऐप इन देयर रिस्पेक्टिव कंट्रीज लाइक कजाकिस्तान किर्गिस्तान उजबेकिस्तान जॉर्जिया अर्मेनिया सो इन व्यू ऑफ दैट सो वी हैव एक्टिवेटेड दैट ऑप्शन राइट and do let me know how you are finding the app how you are finding the user interface and how you are finding the courses i am again thankful to all of you for the subscription of my courses that i have received and i have been constantly receiving your feedbacks and aapke feedbacks sun ke bahut acha lag raha hai mujhe lag raha hai ki main theek direction mein chal raha hu aur agar aapka sath aur aapki support hui to main is ophthalmology app वन स्टॉप रिसोर्स जो मेरा एक सपना है इसको बनाना वो मैं बना पाऊंगा राइट ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक विच इज रेटिनोपैथी ऑफ प्री मेच्योरिटी देखिए शेक्सपियर क्या बोल के गए थे नाम में क्या रखा है मैं बोलता हूं ऑफथेलमोलॉजी में एटलीस्ट ऑफथेलमोलॉजी में नाम में ही सब कुछ रखा है तो पहले हम बात कर, कर लेते हैं इटियोलॉजी की वेन वी टॉक अबाउट इटियोलॉजी द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इज रेटिनोपैथी ऑफ प्री मेच्योरिटी सो वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ pre maturity don't worry i am going to share this annotated uh, this workbook this workbook of rop in my telegram group okay so pre maturity now kitni pre maturity if the age of the child is less than 32 weeks okay this is one thing second is low birth weight kitna low birth weight if the weight is less than 2000 gram 2000 ग्राम होगा तो देयर विल बी हाई चांसेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रेटिनोपैथी ऑफ प्री मेच्योरिटी थर्ड इज हाई सप्लीमेंटल ऑक्सीजन इफ आफ्टर बर्थ द ऑक्सीजन इज गिवेन टू द चाइल्ड देयर विल बी वेजो कॉन्स्ट्रिक्शन एंड दैट वुड एक्जरेट रेटिनोपैथी ऑफ प्री मेच्योरिटी फोर्थ इफ द चाइल्ड हैड सेप्टी सीमिया सेप्टी सीमिया fifth smoking now please don't ask me sir maternal smoking or child smoking bhai child is intra uterine intra uterine the child is not going to smoke so it is of course maternal smoking done okay now what is the pathogenesis if you know the etiology you know the treatment if you know pathogenesis you know signs and symptoms first and foremost i want to tell you is that in case of premature birth which is you are less than 32 weeks so what happens is the entire retinal vascularization happens to be completed by 8th 
month of gestation except the small temporal part which happens 3 to 4 weeks after birth right now if the birth of the child has taken place early so because the vascularization was supposed to complete by 8 months but the 8 months have not passed and the birth has taken place so the entire remaining avascular retina will remain avascular samaj me aya okay so that will create a demarcation line between vascular retina and avascular retina so there are stages of retinopathy of prematurity one is demarcation line between vascular retina i am writing it here between vascular retina and a vascular retina now this demarcated line as you see here it will turn out to be a ridge ridge you understand it is like a small bump like a speed breaker it will be a ridge between this is your vascular retina this is this is a vascular retina so there will be a bump so that is your ridge now because there is a vascular retina and a vascular retina will start the production of VEGF so it will start the production of VEGF and that VEGF will cause neovascularization now the neovascularization once it happens you call it as fibrovascular proliferative stage I am writing it here for you fibrovascular proliferative stage it is because of the production of VEGF vascular endothelial growth factor now this neovascular membrane once it forms on the retina eventually it is going to contract when it is going to contract it will cause retinal detachment but first there will be subtotal retinal detachment now you divide subtotal rd into two one is relatively less sphere another is more sphere how to detect the spherity because the macula lies in the center and at the center of the macula there is fovea which is most sensitive to the light so if there is non-involvement of fovea right so you call it as 4a if there is involvement of the fovea you call it as 4b so this is about subtotal rd but when there is intense neovascularization when there is intense neovascular membrane which forms which contracts and ultimately it is going to lead to total retinal detachment check this out so this is your fibro vascular proliferative stage and it is your subtotal st means subtotal retinal detachment you can see that this part of the retina is attached while this is detached okay so this is ab about the stages of the retinopathy of prematurity now whenever we want to screen the baby for rop so which investigation is used of course we are going to use the same investigation which helps us in detecting the peripheral retinal changes why because here i told you if the birth has taken place early only the temporal part will be left and also some part of the normal vascular retina that could have been vascularized had the birth been taken place after eight months of gestation right so you will use ido because it helps to see at the periphery that is your indirect ophthalmoscopy indirect ophthalmoscopy now next pyq is when do you go on for ido so see less is the age more is the a vascular retina more is the vegf stimulus more is the vegf stimulus more quickly will be neovascularization so if the age is 28 weeks or less you will go for ido at 2 to 3 weeks after birth if it is 28 if it is more than 28 weeks right so it will be after 4 weeks yes i hope you have understood now before so you have detected that boss there is retinopathy of prematurity okay now if we see that there are some zones in the retina so how do we take zones check this out so we actually classify the rop based on the 
zones so whether it is in zone 1 it is in zone 2 it is in zone 3 so zone 3 which you are seeing it is the temporal zone but zone 1 so what are the dimensions of zone 1 so you already know so this is your optic nerve head optic nerve head so what is the other name of optic nerve head optic disc and this is your macular center which is your fovea now you know the distance between the optic nerve head and the fovea is how much can you tell me what is the distance the distance is two disc diameter now you'll say sir what is two disc diameter disc diameter means what is the diameter of optic nerve head the normal diameter it is 1.5 millimeter but when i say two disc diameter that means that the distance between optic nerve head and the center of macula it is 2 into 1.5 which is 3 millimeter but 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 what are the dimensions of zone 1 zone 1 is twice the distance between the optic nerve head and the center of macula so that means this zone 1 radius will be how much it is 4 disc diameter which will be 4 into 1.5 6 millimeter that is your zone 1 this is what I have written here Samaj me aya next zone 2 is it extends from the border of zone 1 can you appreciate so this is the border of zone 1 so it is extending from the border of zone 1 covering the entire nasal ora serrata it is covering the entire nasal ora serrata so this is a equal circle which will be outside the boundary of zone 1 covering the entire nasal ora serrata yes so this entire is zone 2 and now the remaining part the most peripheral remaining part will be your zone 3 which i have written here done so these are the zones now another thing whenever you are examining the patient of course you are not going to tell this is on the superior temporal it is on the superior nasal so it is very vague so you divide the retina into clock hours can you see 12 o'clock 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock so whenever you examine the patient with IDO you always say that the lesion is at 4 o'clock on the retina so that you know where exactly is the lesion located yes okay now coming over to the next part which is threshold rop so what do you understand by threshold rop there are four criteria of threshold rop okay so first criteria is that it should be zone one or zone two yes so threshold rop is a condition when we say that the rop is sphere so zone one because central retina is involved and central retina there is macula and fovea involvement is there and fovea is the most sensitive part so if there is involvement of the fovea it will cause the maximum loss of vision so zone one and zone two is mid periphery if it is zone three that's okay it is far periphery it will not bother much yes for, for a doctor it will not be a much of botherment for a doctor okay second criteria is stage three or more stage three or more you know stage 3 fibrovascular proliferation stage 4 is subtotal rd involving macula not involving macula stage 5 is total rd okay third is if there is presence of a rush syndrome what is rush syndrome rush syndrome is increased tortuosity tortuosity of vessels of the retina why i am saying increased tortuosity see more is the vegf which is released more will be the neovascularization now mind you this neovascularization is not true vessels true vessels consist of intima media and externa but these neovascularized vessels they consist of only intima they are not true so they will be very tortuous they will be very very tortuous so indirectly if i say increase tortuosity of vessels i am pointing towards increase neovascularization and if there is increased neovascularization i am pointing towards increased vegf stimulus if i am saying increased vegf stimulus i am pointing towards more avascular retina that is why there is increased vegf because more is the avascular retina more will be the hypoxia more will be vegf production more will be neovascularization and more will be tortuosity of vessels this is how you connect the dots last is 
if there is involvement of continuous for five clock hours or non continuous eight clock hours so what do you understand by that now please understand so i am examining the retina if there is involvement of rop let's say from 12 o'clock to 5 o'clock how many clock hours one clock hour two three four five so this is of course taking the retina into danger zone so this is five continuous clock hours or what i can do is if it is 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock it is not five it is four clock hours and if it is let's say seven o'clock uh, uh, seven o'clock uh, six o'clock to 10 o'clock again four clock hours but they are not continuous five clock hour but they are non-continuous eight clock hours so that is the criteria of your threshold rop very important pyq okay now having done this can you tell me what will be the treatment so it is believed that if it is stage one sometimes it may show regression sometimes i'm not saying always but sometimes it may show regression otherwise you can go on for diode laser photocoagulation to photocoagulate the new vessels which are there on the retina otherwise because the cause of neovascularization is vegf release so you will give anti vegf intravitreal injection anti vegf which drug are you going to give bevacizumab Reni map. So these are your anti VEGF injection. Now, have you ever seen uh, someone giving anti VEGF? No. I'll tell you. I'll show you one interesting video just so that you are able to connect the dots. So this is the anti VEGF injection. I am first going to show you the eagle eye view, and then I am going to show you how anti VEGFs are given. Of course, this anti VEGF is being given for diaptic retinopathy, but the same method is used for giving anti VEGF in rop so check this out so this is how anti vegf is given you need to push the needle make sure that the needle is lying away from the back of the lens and it is not hitting the opposite retina or optic nerve head. so this is how anti vegf is given this is intravitreal don't say intravenous so i am going to measure from the limbus so normally it is given at a distance of around 3.5 millimeter from the limbus so it depends if the patient is a fake you can give up to 4 mm if the patient is fake you can give at a distance of 3 mm but average 3.5 is good enough so the needle is uh, pushed in from this region and you need to make sure that it does not hit on the opposite side and then you inject the drug so this is how anti vegf injection is given okay just to give you an orientation and also once anti vegf is given because eyeball is a closed structure there will be raised intraocular pressure so you will give paracentesis because this paracentesis is going to decrease the intraocular pressure of the patient it is going to decrease the intraocular pressure of the patient right okay so this is how anti vegf injection is given I hope it is well understood. Samaj me aya? Okay. So this is all about retinopathy of prematurity and its treatment. Okay. Now, if you want to follow me on Telegram, so my Telegram group name is Ophthalmology by Doctor Mani. So you can follow me on Telegram. And uh, if in case of any query, any doubt you have, you want to ask me, you can always WhatsApp me on this number. So I'll be happy to respond to you at earliest, right? And do give me your feedback. Do let me know how you like the video. I'll be doing more such videos. And yes, all the best for your upcoming NEET PG and FMG examination.